Hello, welcome back. We're last episode. We started the uh the the, the episode art and DLC. Yeah, that's the word. Those are the words. Th that's English. <laughs> that's a language I use. Oh my. Uh Hello, don't mind me. Uh, why did I say this outfit wasn't tailor made? Nice commentary. Ooh. Not the most enthralling view. He's just not excited about anything. Oh, I found other research notes. I just not realized that. Archives. The play that ravaged our star centuries ago died out for a time, and with it went the no went all knowledge of the monsters it spawned. Yet, since the discovery of a mutant st uh, strain of Plasmodia here on our very soil, that ominous word has uh, re-entered our lexicon, demon. What caused the scourge to resurge? I can rhyme any time. I hypothesize that it began with the rise of our population that began in the latter half of the millennium. While the adapt or adoption sorry, words of magic technology has vastly improved life for uh, citizens across the empire, the territorial expansion it enabled may also have reactivated plasmodia that remained do uh, dormant for many years. If so, then the true spread of the Star Scourge may have only just begun. Bum bum bum. Uh, excuse me, kind sir. I'm gonna hang a right. Never mind. I guess I'm just gonna follow the ominous piano music. Come, have a seat. Don't want your food getting cold, do you? Are you enjoying your stay? No. You've been asleep for years. Learning to appreciate the waking world will take time. Perhaps I can help enlighten you while we dine. Oh, hello. Uh, ask about me. Was your examination of me a fruitful one? Oh, yes. You've proven far more fascinating than expected. <laughs> no wonder they kept you locked away. To think the powers of a demon could dwell within the heart of a man, it's incredible. The Star Scourge doesn't sap your life force. It gives you more. Your cells can regenerate themselves, and you can demonify other life forms as well. There's no doubt you a are monster. not a monster, a marvel. <laughs> I can't wait to unravel all your mysteries. That was such an evil laugh. Oh my god. Ask about the time. How long has it been since you brought me here? 204 days. Roughly seven months or so. Then again, the Lucians had you locked away in that prison for nearly two millennia. I'd be more surprised if you hadn't lost all concept of time. You must loathe those Lucians for what they did to you. Ah. <sighs> Ask about the food. What is this food? Meat. 
cloned in this facility. D cloned? We cultivated somatic cells, used them as donors to fuse the nucleus transplant cells to the recipient oocytes, and then we... Enough! I've no ear for the ramblings of a lunatic. What is it you want from me, anyhow? What about me interests you so? You said it yourself, didn't you? You were chosen by the gods. And frankly, with powers like yours, I'd say you're nearly a god in your own right. We need those powers that you possess. With your strength on our side, we could finally put an end to the gruesome war with Lucis. You too must desire the fall of the kingdom that cast you into exile. <sighs> My desires are all in the past. The man who wronged you may have died long ago, but his descendants live on to this day. Surely you must bear them some feelings of ill will. My feelings are none of your concern. Interesting. Well, no, I have this over here. Neat. Flush fortifier. What's it do? Oh, hello. Boosts defenses. And gradually restores HP. Neato. We get to go through door number three. So excited. Oh my god, Arden's tall. <laughs> this is the fruit of my labor. A small portion of it, that is. I envy you. A human life is too short to truly understand all there is to know about the world. Go on. Have a look. I suppose. Yeah. Explore the research facility. <gasps> uh, take a break and save your game. Oh, neat! This is this is. Oh, I remember. This is how I save. Save progress. I will. Thanks. I appreciate it. Um, so let's talk to this dude. Or no, let's just examine the map. I thought there was a guy. Is our world? Wow. Oh. So wait. This is all like a hit. A, a... It has been estimated that Eos came into existence some 4.5 billion years ago. Ancient myths tell tales of six protector gods who first alighted upon Eos in the ancient Solheim era. Oh, it's the exposition also machine. The remains of the oldest members of the human race were discovered in the Pistala region. Some claim that humans discovered fire in the Sukarp region even before the dawn of the Solheim civilization. According to legend, the fire god Ifrit first bestowed his burning wisdom upon a man who later sat the throne of Solheim. The mechanized civilization of Solheim is presumed to have originated in the Disguise and Clan regions. Exactly when the civilization rose and fell, however, remains the subject of much investigation. It looks super neato, though. The enormous crevasse separating the regions of Clan and Disguise is known as Telpar Crag. It is here that the War of the Astrals is said to have taken place. When Ifrit tried to reduce mankind to ash, the other gods fought back, and some claim this clash caused the collapse of Solheim. It is said that Ifrit, having lost the War of the Astrals, was interred atop the Rock of Rabato. Neat. After the war, the ice goddess Shiva allegedly sank into a deep slumber, nestled in the Gorvas Rift of Volup. The disappearance of Draconian. To this day, no one knows what became of the blade god, Bahamut. Oh, the silence of the, the Archean. The god Titan can be seen supporting the meteor at the heart of the disk of Kothis in disguise. Next. As for the storm god Rama, legend has it he sealed himself away within Fosha Hollow in disguise. 
The sea goddess Leviathan disappeared in the wake of the war. Some say she swam below the waves and slumbers beneath the city of Altitia. Some 2,000 years ago, the gods granted Somnus Lucis Chilum two gifts, the sacred stone and ring. With these in hand, he founded the kingdom of Lucis. In the centuries since, Lucis has managed to expand its territory while struggling to suppress a parasitic plague. As of ME722, Moore's Lucis Chilum sits the throne as the 112th monarch of his line. Regis Lucis Chilum is King Moore's firstborn son and first in line to succeed his father. Angelguard, off the coast of Golden Key, is an uninhabited island that Lucians regard as sacred ground. Ancient texts tell of a monster known as Adagium supposedly sealed away within, but investigations into its existence have yet to provide conclusive evidence. Soon after the establishment of the kingdom of Lucis, House Fulleray founded the nation of Tenebrae. The Empire began its occupation of Tenebrae in ME359, a move that was initially met with much apprehension. In order to assuage the dissenters, the Empire preserved the Oracle's home of Fenestala Manor. This concession was partially made for political purposes. House Fleuray enjoys close ties with the line of Lucis. There's so much! The Accordo Protectorate has developed into a bustling league of towns at the heart of maritime trade. In ME606, the Empire won an important battle against the Allied forces of Lucis and Accordo, and in turn, annexed the Protectorate. The country is steeped in traditions and cultures that are incompatible with Imperial rule, so the Empire has permitted it a measure of relative political autonomy. I did not realize that Altitia was that far away from Lucius. <laughs> Centuries after the founding of Lucis, a movement to revive the lost civilization of Solheim arose around the Weltham region. Leading the charge was House Aldercat, whose brave deeds brought about the rise of the Niflheim Empire. The Empire built upon Solheim's magic technology and employed it for military use. This new firepower helped the Empire fell its foes, taking Tenebrae in ME359 and Accordo in ME606. As of ME722, under the direction of Emperor Aedilus Aldercat. The Empire is developing new arms, fusing Magitek with demons. And left one. Vestiges of the ancient Solheim civilization can still be seen in the ruins of Piteus and Steel of Grove. Several ancient structures also dot the forest of the Fall Grove that encircles Castlemark Tower. Excavation of these various sites is currently underway. And officially last one. In ME501, during an expedition in the Ulwat region, the Imperial Army discovered a new species known as demons. Uh, thanks. <laughs> that was useful information. New information has been added to the data log. Uh, let's see. Where are we going? Let's go down here. Uh, actually, no. Let's go over here. This looks more interesting. You know what else looks interesting? That th sparkling nonsense up there. Don't mind me. Oh, I found a new thing! There's so much information! This is just exposition the episode. At center, we see what I presume to be Lucian warriors and the kings of yore. I've learned a great deal about the first king of Lucis, but I never knew he was second in line. It seems to depict a legend in which the chosen king dispels the darkness. If that's true, does that mean Lucis intends to someday stand above all others? <laughs> Their trifling tales mean nothing in the face of our superior technology. Only we can restore balance to our world. At the top of the painting, we see the Oracle herself. The bloodline of the Oracle is one of the oldest in Eos, originating with Ero Mirus Flore. Only they possess the power to commune with the gods. This painting depicts the Oracle as some goddess of light herself. She'd doubtless prove a powerful ally if she could be persuaded. On the 
the sides of the frame, we see the Hexathion. Conspicuously absent is the traitorous god of fire who started the Great War of old. Perhaps developing a deeper understanding of the demons will bring us closer to comprehending their divine counterparts. But what if I were to find a way to combine those two disparate elements? In the fiends. By my estimation, the grotesque creatures depicted here are likely demons. Could this mean these monsters will be harbingers of the apocalypse? If only we could find a way to harness their power for ourselves. Oh yeah, that always goes well. Lucis was chosen to eradicate evil from Eos, and with the divine on their side, how could they fail? Uh oh, what was that? Oh, that's that's the thing for the campsite, right? I forgot about that. Oh my. Demons were first officially recognized as a new species roughly 200 years ago. According to ancient texts, however, humans have suffered from a parasitic plague wrought by the demons for upward of two millennia. Demonification is caused by a mutant strain of plasmodia that takes root in living creatures and changes their cellular structures. Infected creatures begin to disperse miasmal particles, the spread of which is known as the Star Scourge. This model is a replica made from plaster poured into a demon-shaped cavity discovered deep underground. Demons sublimate when their vital functions cease, so this particular specimen must have vaporized after the mud around it had already solidified. Scientists believe this subject burrowed into the earth in order to shield itself from the light of the sun. Ooh, new information. What's this now? Activate the device? No? Wait? Yes. What? What does this mean? Given the demon's aversion to light, they typically stick to the shadows until the sun fades and the night falls. Adagium, however, is different. Unlike his demon brethren, he can still function uninhibited in broad daylight. Of course, the ultraviolet rays harm him, much like they would any other demon. Yet his cells regenerate quickly enough to essentially negate the damage. Yeah. It stings. Yeah. Like the light of the sun. Perhaps uh, I'd best cover up. I'm fine. Uh, I th think that's the last thing I can interact with. So before I do that, I actually want to see that new thing I got. Oh, did I miss one? Or two? Apparently I did. Of all the gods above, least is known about the Draconian, neither a tutelary deity, nor a regular fixture in written records. The Blade Keeper has left behind nary a trace save for his name. Some legend suggests he selected a king to lead Lucius and bestowed upon the Chosen One the fabled ring and crystal, in my opinion. It all sounds like the type of, type of uh, fall tale the um, uh, royal family might concoct. 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 <laughs> Damn words. <laughs> Damn these words. To justify their hold on power, but perhaps we can explore the matter in more depth by paying a visit to the Lucian's confidence, confidants in Tenebrae. Ooh. Ooh. All right. Let's go find that stupid... Let's go find the other ones. Found one. Um, so not around here. I'm convinced it's somewhere around here. Because I already found the one that was over there. Um, are there any bookshelves nearby? I don't see any. Oh, hey! There's one up there. And one over here! Hey! Found another journal. Uh, let's see. Is this another one? Yepers. I believe that's all the ones I can find in here. 
Let's see what those are. I've still missed one! <laughs> How am I missing this? <laughs> Acting on a tip we received from a friend. Friend with quotes. In the private sector, we have sent an ex... An ex... Be, excava, ex words. Excavatory expedition to the top of the rock of Rivato. Rivato. Uh, unlike the immovable Ar um, uh, Archaean of the disk of Cothus, while that word, man, uh, the body of the Infernian uh, should be undestructed, unobstructed. I'm all embarrassed. <laughs> Words are hard sometimes, man. Especially when you're this far away and they're tiny on your screen. <laughs> uh, and ready for transport. Assuming our team can reach the peak. Uh, that is. Legends say the Infernian bestowed the gift of the uh, a fire upon mankind in... Uh, Antiquity and the burning wisdom helped forge the foundation of that what became the civil civilization of Soheim. And now, with the fabled f uh, flame within my grasp, I take my first step towards divinity. Tis a wondrous day. That sounds amazing. You're so many. The Lucian soldiers' uh, reliance on their monarch's magic is nothing new, nor do I expect the uh, armored forces to switch up their strategy in the near future. It, if, wait, it thus stands to reason that we cut, uh, or that we ought to devise a plan to inhibit their abilities by whatever means necessary. I've given much thought to the idea of suppressing the Lucian's magic, and while it will, and while it will be some time until we have a working prototype, I believe we should have a fully functioning jamming device added to our magitech arsenal before long. Further combat data would certainly help speed along the development process. The, yeah, the development process, especially data related to the divine. What a thrill it would be to... Oh, there's more. Be to take down a god using the form of all, of one of their help helpers. So that's how they were able to turn off the, the um, magic for Noctis later on in the game. Neat! Okay. Uh, let's see. While the written records referencing the divine host of messengers remain our excavatory um, expedition to t wait. Tell poor Craig. Nice. Has uncovered some interesting information via word of mouth while investigating the surrounding area. Based on what based on what we've heard, the uh, demigods fought alongside the deities they served in the War of the Astrals. With the followers of the tra treacherous Infernos or right, Infernian, uh, being all from uh, erased from the annals of history after suffering defeat at the hands of the other gods. Little else is known about the messengers, but I'm determined to discover more about these fascinating creatures. So, let me get this perfectly straight. First off, wow exposition. Secondly, um, uh, I think I might be, like, bullshitting right here, but this very well may be, like... The development team being like, okay, so we canceled development on all the other DLC, so let's just spearhead a ton of crazy exposition in our last ever DLC. That may be the case. I don't know. It would be hilarious if it was. Alright, I'm gonna save, though.
I don't know why I'm making two saves, but whatever. Anyways, thank you for watching. If you like this video and you want to see more, please press that subscribe button. Also, like, share, favorite, and press the bell would also be great because pressing the bell is the only way to see my freaking videos in your subscription feed. Because freaking, I don't know why. Anyways, uh, next time I'm going to go over here. Over to this thing and see that thing and do all these things and probably find the other research notes. Well, I don't know where they could be, but I will try to find them. Oh, maybe they could be inside this place. The, the room that we were in, that we were eating in, maybe the door's still open. Maybe there's one over here. Son of a bitch, there was one over there. All right, anyways, whatever, it doesn't matter anymore. Thanks for watching, see you next time, bye-bye.